cool things and try new things. I've been loving all of the pop art zombies popping up on a lot of great channels. Jordan Hans, Ash Clemens, Bonnie Corbin, just to name a few. <sighs> But I felt that that is not for me because I'm not a body painter, I'm not really good at painting things. A while back, we did a murloc from World of Warcraft, which has these crazy googly eyes. I've kept the idea of the crazy eyes in mind. So this is an Ellie Max infused way of doing a pop art zombie, yay! This tutorial requires beginner to intermediate skills. It takes about 10 minutes to prep and then about 2 to 2.5 hours to complete. Since we were extremely low on blue cream colors, we used lipstick instead. How about that? If you want to create something else with eyes like this, check out the Murloc tutorial. Now let's do this. We begin by cutting up a little piece of masking tape because we need to mask out our little pupil in the center of our eye. With that round piece of tape, we are good to go. When we take this split plastic ball, we'll just measure out where we want the pupil, sort of, and then stick it in there. And it's okay to do this without the face cast, of course. There you go. Now we can paint our eye and in the center there we want it to be a kind of bloodshed, a bit red. So we paint it red all over the edges of our round little masking tape piece. And then we take hairspray color and spray the whole eye white from the inside. And there we go. And now when we peel that little piece of tape off, we have a nice little hole to see through. And of course we repeat this on both our halves of that plastic ball. Then head on to the mirror and do some outline work here where we want our rib cage to be split open and come out. And then we mark out where the eyes are gonna go as well because we're gonna build around the eyes and actually create the whole makeup and just push the eyes in at the very end. There's the hole in our jaw where our teeth are gonna pop out and some lines for the shading as well. Little nose. And to add a little extra 3D depth to our look, we're gonna create some of the skull pieces here of our zombie straight onto our face using cotton and latex. We begin with our nose, breaking out a small little piece like this. Apply the latex, smells good from the looks of Ellie's face. <laughs> Just apply it and continue to the next piece. And with the latex on our fingertips, we smooth out those edges a little bit, like that. Sort of fade that liquid latex and cotton into our skin. With the nose done, we continue with our forehead because we want that rough, zombie-like texture of the skin all the way. Again, just applying latex and then the cotton and then a layer of latex again over the edges. Just connect the nose and the forehead piece. Time to create the hole in our cheek so that our teeth can pop out. And again, apply the latex and the cotton. And then we use a little bit of latex on our fingers and shape that piece of cotton to go around our little outlines we have created already. I'm building a crazy jaw in Swedish. Is your be going golden shack? that broken jawline coming along fine we leave it to dry a little bit while we apply it on the other side as well this time as a whole piece then we go back and finish it off the 
think we just need to detail out the ribs and the wound there a little bit before we start doing the exact same thing here. Construct those ribs with cotton and latex. And while we're at it, we create an edge all around that wound as well. Then we noticed we need to fill out that side a little bit more there. Since our vision is going to be impaired by the plastic balls, we need to put them in at the very last stage of the makeup. But we still need to create the little wall pieces on the sides there. So to achieve this and to be able to move the plastic ball out of there, we cut up a piece of tape like this. And then we fold it with the sticky side in. So we just have tiny little sticky pieces on the edges there. Then when we apply it, the sticky parts will stay outside the eye, but we still have a tape wall supporting the eye on the side there, but without any sticky surface. So that's sticky, that's not. So no tape holding on to the eyeball, it just rests there. Which in turn means that we can construct a full support wall on the side here using copy deck. Shout just out! Take the eye straight out. There we go. Talent shout out. And the shout goes to Cat MVN. A lot of scary stuff there, real gory and nasty creations. So go check that out and give her a follow. And then we continue with the paint job starting out with the black, the deep black in the eyes on the nose and for everything under our skin we're gonna go with pink intense pink so in the little wound there on our jaw between our ribs you can of course choose any colors you like and now we need to shade that a little bit so we go with a dark maroon tone there just underneath our ribs on the edges all the way up there on all of them and the same thing goes for our mouth wound. And as I mentioned before, we didn't have any blue shades of cream color, so instead we went along and used lipstick. Because that we have a lot of. So, let's do this. So we apply the lipstick pretty rough and then go in with a large brush and just smooth it all out. All over the place. Then we switch to a darker tone for some contouring and shading of the face. Same approach goes for the rest of our body here. Roughing out the areas, and then go in with a large brush to blend everything together. And speaking about blending and mixing, are you excited about Ellie's new vlog channel? How cool is that gonna be, right? I'm so gonna subscribe. With everything blue in place, we switch to a white cream color and the highlights. And as we go further down, it's time to define our neck as well as our ribs. Still using that same white cream color. And for shading and deeper blue tones, we switch back to that dark blue lipstick.
throwing on a little bit of paint on those ribs as well. And for our lips, we are going with a darker tone towards the edges of our lips. And that's gonna fade into a nice powy pink on the lips themselves. There it is. And a look like this wouldn't be complete without a few little highlights on those lips. So we get them in there using that white cream color. And while we're on the subject of white color, we might as well give ourselves a little bit of a boost in the highlights. For the teeth, we are using acrylic nail tips. We cut them up in pieces that are suitable for our little mouth wound. Then simply apply them using either liquid latex or your favorite skin adhesive. Put them in place there, as many or as few as you like. We uh, stuck to keeping them in the first hole there, that looked best. And next up, outlining our wounds with a little bit of fake blood. Then it seems about time to bring out that wig that we bought on Comic-Con Stockholm last November. There we go. Awesome. Lovely shade on that. Get it in place, fluff it up. Yeah. And let's focus on the eyes again, no pun intended. We need to put lashes on them, so fake lashes. And this time we apply false lashes. A double pair on each eye, because it's pretty wide and big eye. So one dark and one purple, that made for a nice mix, just like that. And guess what? When those lashes are dry, you can basically just pop that eye right into the socket. And thanks to our little side support wall we created, this didn't require any skin adhesive or liquid latex to stick. They just sat there by themselves. But of course, if you do have problem getting them to stay there, just simply line them with some skin adhesive or liquid latex, and you're good to go. And hey, look at that pop art zombie kind of thing with, yeah, amazing eyes. How about it? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Did you love it? Are you gonna recreate it? Let us know in the comments. And as you heard, Ellie's vlog channel is launching any day now, so that along with our Twitch broadcasts will be something to look forward to. See you soon, take care, bye!